Welcome back. In this video, we are going to calculate the sales price for each job. So in the prior videos, we calculated the cost, which once we sell all of the cars in each job, that will become a cost of goods sold. Now I want to know what am I selling them for? What is my sales price? If you notice when we are calculating the cost, we have this little thing I put it on the side where we're going to calculate our sales, our cost, our gross profit, and our gross profit percentage. Okay, so in order to do that, we have to calculate our sales price. So let's go back and you know what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to copy this over so I don't have to remember. Okay. All right. So job 101 is 135 cars with leather seats and a racing stripe. So I'm going to go back here. And when I sell a car, a car is $18,000. If they want leather seats, it's an additional $4,000. And uh, the racing stripe is an extra $1,000. So when I come over here, I'm going to do my formula, which is going to be 135 cars times 18000 times or plus the uh four thousand dollars for the leather car upgrade plus the i think it was one thousand for the um stripe upgrade because it's gonna have leather seats and stripes and i'm just gonna double check myself four thousand for the leather seats and in fact you know i'm just gonna copy and paste this over because why not and that way I don't have to keep flipping back and forth. Okay, So I'll just put this right here. And I'll delete this when I'm done. Okay. So it's going to be 135 times 18,000 for the uh, basic car, 4,000 for the leather seat upgrade, and 1,000 for the um, racing stripe upgrade. And that's per car. Okay. So if I add this in my head, 18 plus 4 is 22 is 23. So my sales price will be 135 times 23,000, okay? If I wanted to do a formula, I could do plus 135 times, and then put in parentheses, 18,000 plus 4,000 plus 1,000, and I'd get the same answer, okay? So I can either do it in my head or I can do it in Excel or I can do it on my calculator offline. All right. So my total sales for car 101 is going to be 3,105 or 3,105,000. All right. Job 102 is again going to be 135. 135 cars times 18,000 for the basic car kit plus uh cloth seats which don't require um any additional sales price and neither does standard paint so it's just going to be times eighteen thousand. so that's easy enough 135 times eighteen thousand. because this for this job there were no upgrades so our sales price is two thousand four hundred thirty two million four hundred thirty thousand. all right job one of three i have 150 cars times the 18,000, that's standard, plus um, they wanted leather seats and standard paint. So we're going to add the 4,000 for the leather seat upgrade, but not add anything for the racing stripe because they didn't get it. Okay, so then that's going to end up being 150, 150 cars times a sales price of 22,000 per car. And I got 22,000 by adding 18,000 and 4,000. 18 for the basic, the base price on the car, 14 or 4,000 for the leather seats update. All right, moving on to job 104. So in job 104, we sold 70 cars and they had cloth seats and a racing stripe. So you got to put in that base price of 18,000. Everybody pays that. We do not have an upgrade for the leather seats, but I do have an upgrade of $1,000 for the racing stripe. Okay, so 
These costs, cars are each going to cost 19000 That's 18000 plus 1000 So I'll just type in 70 times 19000 All right. So job 104 is going to sell for 1330000 So my total sales for the period, and we're going to need this later on, are, I'm just going to add them up. I'm going to let Google Sheets add it up for me. 10165000 is our total sales for the period. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to take these and we're going to go over to our other worksheet, this one, and we're going to calculate our um, gross profit and our gross profit percentage, which we also call our margin. But for now, I'm going to say adios, and I'll see you in the next